So I just got access to this new AI podcast generator called JellyPod. And guys, in this video, I'm going to review JellyPod, and I'm also going to compare my outputs to what you can get with Notebook LM. So be sure to stick around to the very end. So if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Ryan, and my mission is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. And if you want to know my favorite AI tools and prompts that I'm using for marketing and content creation, be sure to get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link for this below this video. But now let's dive back in and explore JellyPod AI. Now, if you've never heard of JellyPod, this is a brand new AI podcast generator. And the whole AI podcast market, in my opinion, kind of blew up after Notebook LM came out with this audio overview. And there are other AI podcast generators out there. I've just never had good luck with them. And so JellyPod came along. And if you go to their website at jellypod.ai, you can't actually use this tool right now unless you sign up for the waitlist first. I signed up for this waitlist a couple weeks ago. They actually uh, commented on one of my YouTube videos about generating podcasts with Notebook LM. I'm like, who is JellyPod? So I looked into it. I signed up for the wait list. And now I finally got access and spent quite a bit of time diving into this tool. And I'm about to show you what I discovered here. So visit the website, JellyPod AI, sign up for the wait list. And then I'm not sure how long it's going to take to hear back, but you do get a free trial so you can start exploring this tool. They also have a video here and I'll leave a link to this YouTube video in the description below as well. Just a quick little demo that helps you build your first podcast. Uh, very useful. They also have examples if you want to look at some of the examples that they've made using JellyPod. Uh, and if we talk about the pricing, you do get a free trial. It's like a freemium model where you can create one podcast, I believe two episodes for free, then you have to pay more. Uh, the starter plan is $29 per month. On an annual plan, it's $280 a year. Um, so that a little discount there. Um, $29 a month isn't terrible in my opinion. Now you don't get a lot. I don't think you get multiple podcasts. You only get four episodes per month. So not a lot there. Um, if you're serious about this, you'd probably want to at least start with the creator plan. Now, if you're doing like full throttle podcasting, maybe look into the business plan. But for most people, I would recommend just starting with the free plan you get after joining the wait list. And if you like what you see, maybe start with the starter plan here. Um, so anyways, once you're on the wait list and you hear back and you finally get access to it, this is what the dashboard looks like with JellyPod. Now, for this example, I went ahead and just created a podcast about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, just using this purely as an example. So what you can do with JellyPod is if I click host, you can start by creating hosts. This is the very first thing that you need to do in order to create an AI podcast. And you only get access to, I think, two hosts on the free plan. So one I created of myself, and I actually use one of their pre-recorded voices. So I'm just going to play both of these hosts for you just to see so you guys can see what it sounds like gratitude is riches complaint is poverty so you heard that right that was one of their pre-configured ai voices that you can select but this is what's really cool so if i click add new host you'll see what i mean here you can obviously give it a name you can select your language give it a backstory you can actually use chat gpt or claude to help you with the backstory that's what i did and this is the voice selection so you can do an ai voice design you can use one of their uh, voices here on the professional voices that they have and you can also do a voice clone you only get one voice clone on the free plan and i actually made that here for you but what you can do is upload an mp3 file of yourself talking whether that's through a podcast through a youtube video or if you just want to film you know an additional video just to get your voice in an mp3 file you can do that and upload it to JellyPod. and then once you do that i'm going to show you what mine actually sounds like here is my ryan dozer voice clone so i'm going to play this really quick hello i'm ryan dozer joining in do a Join me as we dive into the fascinating world of Bitcoin and blockchain, where innovation meets opportunity. Let's explore how these technologies are reshaping industries and empowering us to navigate the digital frontier. So that actually sounded pretty close. There was a little hiccup at the beginning that caught me to think like, you know, what is this? You know, but towards the end, it actually did start to sound like me. There are only a few seconds of hiccups. So I'm assuming this feature will get better. And honestly, probably the more accurate of a file that you can give them, the better off it's going to be to clone your voice. Now, you may be asking, well, why would you want to clone your voice? Well, that's the whole purpose of a tool like JellyPod. If you clone your voice, you can then make AI podcast episodes without you spending the time to record all the episodes, edit, 
do all the, you know, the optimization, the distribution, et cetera. That's the benefit of cloning your voice. And so after you have your host created, what you want to do is click podcast. And this is where you would actually generate your AI podcast. You'll see here, I just made one called Bitcoin Unlocked. Um, I actually used ChatGPT to help me with most of this. So I used ChatGPT to come up with the title, come up with the description, and it also generated that image here. If I scroll through here, you'll see I asked it for the podcast title. Here's the podcast description. And then it generated this using Dolly 3. And that's actually not bad in my opinion. Um, and then from there, I actually used it for its help on my episodes. And so if I go back to JellyPod, you can make two episodes on the free plans. You'll see I just made a couple, Bitcoin 101, Bitcoin versus the US dollar. And I had one in draft. I was going to make three, but that's when I realized I'm capped at two. And so if I click into edit episode and you go through and create your episode, this is what it will look like. You can do an image here if you want a different cover for your episode versus the main one. I didn't do that. I use ChatGPT to help me with the title, for the help me with the description. And this is where it gets good. You can add your sources just like we can do this in notebook LM. Like I have a Wikipedia article, a YouTube video, the Bitcoin white paper. You can also do the same thing in JellyPod. You'll see here I have three different articles. You can even add YouTube videos. So I have a YouTube video and I have two articles. You can add PDFs as in that first podcast episode I made. I used the Bitcoin white paper, but this is very similar to Notebook LM. I'm not sure how many, so, so it looks like you can only add three sources per episode, but that should be more than enough, especially if it's longer sources. You can also use ChatGPT to help you with the episode outline. You don't need to do this. It can just generate something without an outline, but I would recommend doing this just to add more details, it will help the final output. So if I go back to chat GPT, you'll see here, this is what I use for the outline. I said, generate an episode outline. It gave me all the different chapters, the time duration, the different bullet points. And so I copy and pasted that into here for my outline. And then from there, this is what I got uh, for the episode, right? So from here, it gives you an entire transcript. It breaks it down here by that outline that I made. And you can also click generate audio. Now, I can't do it for this one because I hit my max, but this is what it looks like just to edit an episode as I'm showing you. So if I go back to the episodes that were actually published, I'm going to go back to my podcast here. Here's the two episodes that I published. So I'm going to go ahead and actually play one of these episodes for you. And then I'm actually going to compare this to Notebook LM. Now, keep in mind for these episodes, I didn't use my clone voice because I didn't really know how this tool works. So I might have to make another account and figure it out. Um, but I actually used one of the pre-configured voices that they had. So I'm going to play a little bit of both episodes and we'll compare it to Notebook LM here. All right, folks. So today we're, we're diving into the world of Bitcoin the first decentralized digital currency, you could say. Now, Bitcoin is often called digital gold. So pretty realistic. Let's try this one. Hey there, folks. Welcome to Bitcoin Unlocked. Today, we've got a fascinating topic to uh, dive into. Bitcoin versus the US dollar. Yeah, not bad as well. Let's go back to Notebook LM and let's play this one again, just so you guys can get familiar with what it sounds like. All right, get this. We are diving deep, deep into Bitcoin. We've got Wikipedia, Satoshi's use it every day, but- The barter. Bartering. So like a chicken for a bushel of wheat, so the thing with Notebook LM is that you can't, I mean, you can customize the audio to some extent now, but there's always going to be those two people, the man and the woman talking, and you don't really have much customization available versus in JellyPod, you can do your own voice clone. You can choose from all the different voices, AI voices that they already have created at your disposal. And so you have a lot more customization here. And so after you're done creating an episode, you can publish it and distribute it typically like you could on other podcast mediums. So this one, for example, if I go ahead and click this one right here, and I'm going to see what we can do, right? You can share this episode so I can literally copy and paste this episode link. I might leave it in the description if you guys want to listen to it. You can download the MP3 file of this episode, similar to what you could do on Notebook LM. But by downloading the MP3, again, we could use some sort of um, AI video generator right behind the scenes with engaging subtitles. You could upload something to YouTube or SoundCloud, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you can also distribute this. So if we click podcast distribution options, what you can 
do is it gives you an RSS feed and it also allows, it looks like you have to upgrade, but it has a Spotify integration and I have a podcast. So you can use what's called Spotify. I believe it's Spotify for podcasters or creators, something like that. And where you can actually integrate this with your Spotify podcasters account and then just auto publish episodes from here. Or you can do it the traditional way with an RSS feed. But that's just another cool feature that you can use on JellyPod. Now, unfortunately, since I hit my usage limits with the free plan, I can't make another episode. And I really wanted to try it with my AI voice clone. I just didn't realize it till after the fact and it was too late. I did sign up for another account using a different email, but I have to join the waitlist again so I don't have access to it. Uh, but that's what I would do if I were you guys. I would come to JellyPod, click join waitlist, start using it for free, create your own AI podcast. And you can also use ChatGPT to help you with it. Come up with a title, come up with the description, come up with cover art. And so make sure you use ChatGPT or Claude to kind of help you with that and speed up the process. But I hope you guys found this video valuable and maybe you're going to try JellyPod. I'm not even affiliated with them. I just got the email and I thought this would be a really good video, especially since Notebook LM's gotten a lot of buzz with their audio overview. And so now we're getting more competitors to the space. But again, I appreciate you if you've made it this far. I hope you found value in this video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you did. But most importantly, I want to hear what you guys have to say. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Are you going to try JellyPod? Are there other AI podcast tools out there that I'm missing that you guys like? I want to hear what you guys have to say. And again, if you want to know my favorite AI tools for marketing and content creation, get my free AI marketing essentials guide. You can find the link below this video. But with all of that being said, I hope you all have a great day.